Congress party's own face has rejected the caste census warning of repercussions ahead of the 2024 polls. Uh, it's a warning that has come in from a senior Congress leader in Karnataka saying Lingayats have reduced from 60 lakh to 60 lakh from 80 lakhs and everyone will oppose a caste census. Remember, the Karnataka Congress has been divided over a caste census. Uh, the chief minister has welcomed it. On the other hand, the deputy chief minister had made a statement that seemed to be against caste census. And now a senior Congress leader also making a similar statement. My colleague Deepak joining us on the broadcast with the details of how this is going to play out. Caste census has been one of the biggest talking points ahead of the 2024 uh, battle, Deepak. But it clearly looks like there's a divide within the Karnataka Congress. Yes, and this, of course, uh, stems uh, time and again from the fact that, uh, you know, the, uh, especially leaders coming from the Wakaliga and the Lingayat communities have been, of course, in strong opposition to uh, this particular caste uh, survey that was conducted in the year 2015 it was ready of course um, by uh, 2018 but wasn't of course made public during uh, the previous Congress regime uh, right now once again with the chorus back uh, that the chief minister is going to accept this particular report and make it public uh, we've seen a lot of uh, vocal opposition that's come in from the vocal leaders the deputy chief minister DK Shivkumar himself had recently of course uh, signed one of the letters that was written uh, to the chief minister asking him to reconduct the survey because they uh, failed this is an unscientific one now uh, Sh uh, Shamnur Shiv Shankarappa of course who's uh, uh, also a, a top Wokaliga, the leader in a Congress MLA himself, has called this uh, report unscientific, says that many homes, uh, the survey that was conducted didn't visit many of the homes and eventually, of course, uh, it has uh, really downplayed the size of the Lingad population in the state of Karnataka and even uh, goes on to say that if they continue to push for it, uh, the repercussions will be seen in the upcoming elections. So we have seen strong opposition within the Congress, while on one hand, of course, Mr. Rahul Gandhi and several other Congress leaders advocate for a caste survey uh, here in Karnataka with the uh, caste survey that is prepared and ready it seems like even uh, during the second regime of uh, Chief Minister Sidharamaya is facing several hurdles from within itself to actually make this report public. Absolutely. And the Lingai support is going to be extremely crucial for the Karnataka Congress Party as well. The BJP has also been wooing Lingayats. Uh, Deepak, to explain to our viewers how the Lingayat vote bank is also going to play out because they traditionally voted for the BJP, but in the assembly elections this time around, a lot of support also coming in for the Congress. Before we come back to you, let's listen in to what the senior Karnataka Congress leader has said about the caste census. <laughs> Ile kutukan ini nampak orang berkan orang musim rumah orang, mana lekka cari rumah ni cara, ini mana mana boleh kita cari apa, nampak berkan mana tu, cari apa boleh dah ni kuat dari itu lemah dari itu nampak orang kerja terus, orang ni kan cari nampak kerja macam corus terus, beri apa tak cene, naro tak cene itu terus lagi, mai tu gugut atau gugut tu, yang lalu kuda virus itu mati terus, sein mana ke lalu terus terus, mati kuda terus, orang mana tu anmana, semua nampak orang ini orang sih macam mana real terus terus. इस मुंडोग तरह से कंटा नम मनुष्य क्या स्टर अधि ये नहीं तो मुंड हाँ और क्या गुत्ता कहते हैं और मर्डर ये नहीं कहते हैं उन्हें और एक तीर मारना मार के क्या डर है ये नहीं तो मुंड एलेक्शन आने वाला है ना वो तो क्या so, Shamanur Shiv Shankar, a uh, warning that there could be repercussions if there is a caste census. Uh, Deepak, explain the entire controversy to us and why the Lingayat Port Bank is going to be extremely crucial in 2024. All right, uh, we seem to be facing technical difficulties. We'll just go back to Deepak in just a moment. But you heard the senior Congress leader making that statement, uh, Shamanur Shiv Shankarappa, who is a tall Lingayat leader, saying that if there is a caste census in the state, then he and the Lingayat population is going to oppose it. He said that the Lingayat population has reduced in the state. It has reduced to just 60 lakh from 80 lakh, and people from the Lingayat community are going to oppose a caste census. It will be interesting to see how this is going to play out, especially considering the Congress party has been claiming that there will be a caste census in the state. The BJP has attacked the Congress government over the statement that has been made. Uh, the BJP has hit out at the Congress government. Listen in. Congress party unable to handle its own top leaders in Karnataka over caste uh, uh, census. But they make sweeping charges against the BJP and its leadership over the caste census. It is time Kang Rahul Gandhi and Sidra Maya first make their own leaders to accept the caste census and release them. 
it is shamno shivshankarappa and dk shukuma who are very senior leaders in this government have expressed their uh, disagreement with the caste census it is the division in the cabinet is very evident i am sure sidramaya will not release this uh, census in the coming days All right. So the BJP hitting out at the Congress party, uh, saying that there is a clear divide within the Karnataka Congress. Deepak, back with us. Yes, Deepak. Well, Pratibha, now the entire issue, of course, stems from uh, the Vokaliga and the Lingayat community feeling that uh, their uh, population numbers in the state of Karnataka is being uh, understated in this particular survey. Now, while we've asked the chief minister repeatedly about these differences that are coming in, either from the Vokaliga community, from the deputy chief minister, from multiple uh, ministers in his cabinet, he says that the report has not been made public. Nobody knows about the numbers and figures. He'll accept it, and any uh, you know requests or any issues that people have with the survey will be considered after he accepts it. But uh, you know while uh, the chairman was uh, supposed to submit a report by the end of this month now another additional two months has been given uh, till the month of january for them to actually submit this report so it looks like uh, the, it has been pushed as far as the acceptance of the report we were expecting it to happen before uh, the winter session of uh, the assembly but it's not and that's where mr shamno shivshankarappa himself uh, was saying that probably in, in what he understands that they will not be uh, accepting the report once again the bjp to slamming uh, uh, the chief minister over the same so we'll really have to see while uh, a sen- in, at the central level the congress of course has been pushing for a caste survey here you know with the issues that they are facing internally the congress seems to be stalling accepting this particular report in fact the karnataka congress has been divided over the matter dk shivkumar is one of the signatories of the letter that was written to sidramaiah the chief minister saying that he is yet to receive the report regarding the same listen in what me le cabinet nil charcha madu nanage mulli kodukija रिपोर्ट नोड़े मुंशित याकपा ना जाति गणति सोशल इंपैक्ट नम का पक्ष निवत नम नि बद्ध आज ना हेल्ता शासक लीडर समाज नम नम मन बंद कल्प सर रीत वैज्ञानिकवा चीफ मिनिस्टर हूँ स्पोकन ऑफ दास्ट से कर्नाटक गवर्मेंट टू रिली टू रिवील द डीटेल ऑफ द कास्ट से कंडक्टेड प्रीवियस्ली डी के शिव कुमार सेंग दट वी नीड टू प्रोटेक्ट द रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ आर कम्युनिटीज एंड दिस इज द रीजन वाई ही वॉज वन ऑफ द सिग्नेटरीज सो दीपक एट द सेंट्रल लेवल यू नो इन दी एलेक्शन इन द स्टेट आर गोइंग इन टू एलेक्शन एज वेल द कांग्रेस पार्टी हेज बीन सेंग दट देर वुड बी अस्ट से इंक्लूडिंग इन तेलंगाना एज वेल सो दिस इज बिकम वन ऑफ द मेन पोल पिचर्स ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी इन एनी ऑफ द असेंबली इलेक्शन दर आर टेकिंग प्लेस क्लियरली फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एज वेल एज राहुल गांधी हेज बीन स्पीकिंग अबाउट इट बट ऑन ग्राउंड इन कर्नाटका वेर द कांग्रेस पार्टी इज इन पावर नो मूवमेंट रिगार्डिंग द सेम on one hand they are not accepting their report 170 crores was spent on it pratibha and this was spent during the previous regime now uh, some of their own leaders are calling it unscientific they're calling for another report this is taxpayers money that we're talking about just because uh, you know a particular survey is not uh, uh, projecting a community or they feel is not projecting the community in the right manner now they want another survey and later on if, if another survey comes about and another community of course the numbers are uh, uh, probably drop then you'll have a, a demand and a hue and cry about the same so probably here the top leadership of the congress should take a clear stand on this particular survey if they feel that they've spent 170 crores of the tax payers money whether they should not uh, whether say they should make it public or not because it, there has been an inordinate delay an entire term has gone by uh, after the survey was completed and even okay. in the second term of mr sidramaiya with a gap of about 5 years we are still looking at uh, only statements that are coming to the fore and no real action absolutely deepak thank you for joining us with those details